This is Celeste Kelly. She's a privately certified equine massage therapist. Don't worry, we'll explain what that is in a minute. The state of Arizona is threatening her with thousands of dollars in fines and jail time for simply massaging horses. I've been doing equine massage for a little over 10 years. Equine massage is assisting the horse to release tight muscles, tension, and get full range of motion so that it can perform. Celeste's business was booming until the Arizona Veterinary Board sent Celeste two cease and desist letters giving her two options, become a licensed veterinarian or massage horses for free. To become a licensed vet, I would have to leave the state of Arizona because there are no accredited vet schools in Arizona. I would have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars in tuition and four years at an institution where equine massage is not taught. I don't know any veterinarians in Arizona who massage horses, so I take my horse Orion to Celeste. There has been a 180 degree difference in Orion since Celeste started massaging him two years ago. If I couldn't use Celeste anymore, I'm not really sure what would happen to our riding. Once his muscles start to tighten up, it's really difficult for us to do the things that we need to do to enjoy each other. This is Diana Simpson, Celeste's attorney. A massage therapist doesn't need a medical degree to massage humans. So why should an equine massage therapist need a veterinary degree to massage horses? I have private certification in equine massage. My clients continue to come back to me I just want to be able to continue to practice my craft and keep these animals happy. So, what is Celeste doing about it? She's teaming up with the Institute for Justice to wrangle this law off the books in court. 